Junkie, my antenna went up May in 2013. I love junkies. Hey, what's up, Rambo? That <laughs> he said, he needed two weeks for nine, bro. <laughs> he changed his mind. Boys Club will pay for it, everything. We even pay for your car service, and he, he, he fucking chickened out. Come on, man, you ain't. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm just showing you how quick you would dive into me coming and ending the fight you started. You know, it was just a purpose thing. You know what I'm saying? Remember what I told you. Once you start, I'm never going to stop. And it only ends one way. Listen to you Marys today. Oh, my God, bro. Fucking CK9, they ate a thief. A thief that made want to come out of his crib. Thank you. 
Nah, you cross the roof, smoking a spliff, listening to y'all cry. Yo, they give a much better fight. At least they, at least they start their fight. <laughs> Just go to today's video, Gates. NYC Mutts. The last four or five gates under this one. He gets a hard on when he hears your name. Forget that, man. Yo, don't forget that. He says when he hears my, he hears my voice, he gets a hard on. He gets an erection. Yo, the best part is when you see the video gate, that nigga's doing jumping jacks with me and enforcer. That nigga, you got him in a TV going back and forth. Looking at the front of his fucking radio, he don't even know how to sit down. Hey, bad boy, pray, pray, hey, tío, cuando escucha tu favor, que quiere chicken big sandwich. What's even funny is that he swears he heard that in the last couple of video games. the original morning show guy out here for four years i'm sorry if the guy who started this channel last year thinks it's all about him but i've been doing it long before you mr 25 blow the enforcer 250 playlist on youtube and the nyc radio wars playlist will help you acknowledge that as being a fact the king of new york got down Poor bad girl, looks into my face and still didn't do anything he once said he was gonna do. Like I told him, dollar against an hour with your mother. tell you he would never put any external meter in front of an Ameritron. That 800 watt dead key I showed you in the video gates two times in two years, that was on the Ameritron meter built in. My apologies, guys. The king of New York. Yeah, 80B, doing, a doc, doing 800 dead key, I'll go off the air. And you know what he says? Nah, nah, I don't want that, dog. We, I want you out here. Oh, man. Don't forget. Don't forget. He said that his static is identical. Identical to a bird wow, I hope they got this on video gate. Oh, you know what they're talking about? My RMS calibration test when I first put my antenna up. When my two hammies came over, one with the tail wave, one with the bird to check my meter. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> Finished product is all you need to know. 
A magician doesn't give away his tricks. My mode of apparatus is the messy miracle bench. All you see are basics and a mess. Well, let's see. A waveform analyzer. Let's see. A spectrum analyzer. Let, let's see. Your, your test gear, Richard. He can never display one because he doesn't have one. And then he has the nerve to make a claim that he accepts all major credit cards and PayPal. How the fuck did you have a credit card machine when you don't even have an account? You don't pay taxes. Wait a minute. If he's making, you see, that's why I love his own video gates. His own video gates incriminates him. He's got a credit card machine. That means he's making earnable income. Don't you have to report that to the IRS? Four times a year. To go through a fucking computer, they will fucking pick it up right away. <laughs> that's why this nigga's so stupid, bro. You don't know. You know, he's a fucking jerk off, bro. That shit goes into the system. You gotta report every three months, four times a year. There you go. Got you, Gray Richard, man. You've been exposed like a used shoe. You've been exposed like a used shoe, Richard. You better give it up. Come clean. Not even that, bro. Y'all, 37, the roster furniture Jamaican cats, they, they, they were asking him. Hey, Richie, you know, you do so many things. Six of them. Go back to the video games, Mary. <laughs> uh, he kind of comes out of point to and everybody. Because everybody say, yo, who, who's ready to get Who's ready to get done? Ain't nobody. He ain't got nothing done by you. <laughs> well, when you mention Sam, yeah, when you mention Sam, of course, uh, you, know, you know, me and, uh, me and uh, at, at 314, you were talking before. So 314 was having a little issue with, with feedback. So Richie right away is telling him, yo, throw the mic out, you know, get rid of it. Because it's, you know, it was designed by, uh, by Sam. So right away, Richie wants to criticize. 
I don't care who it's designed by. If it's going to give me half the audio and sound like it makes 314 sound compared to what he used to sound like in the gates, oh, wow. Each his own. He's a fucking bum. He's a fraud, bro. They ain't trying to say he got a business. He fucking uses credit card. Come on, man. And, and motherfuckers believe that shit. And, like, me and CK was talking about that shit a couple of days ago. These niggas do it because they want to fucking... Hate on us because they, they don't even sound like us, they can't be like us. Right? They're, fucking, they're gonna side with the crackhead. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. You want us to be a pack of demon lying, fraudulent junkies who are out here trying to scam people, sell them stories, make up stories, lies, and rumors, and you want us to be God and depict everybody as we are in our own image? Oh, man, you guys are a joke. NYC Radio Wars tells the story. <laughs> you already know. Oh, that stupid recording is coming over you, man. Ha, ha, ha. No, I was saying that, uh, <laughs> That's why I was squealing like that. No, I, I figured that. I thought it was, didn't I say it was a ground problem? Yes, sir. And I did it. I'm good. I believe I said it all first. Listen to the video gate. And then he just tried to repeat me. Because he heard me and you didn't, 314. That's his chassis. That he's getting an RF. He's getting an RF issue from his chassis. If you ground, it's a ground problem. Check your ground everything. Your mic, your radio, and it disappeared. I, I, and I don't claim to be no technician. I don't claim to be this. Yeah, but the video gate, a couple of video gates under this that has that situation, is clearly going to hear me telling that to 314 first. <laughs> and then you try to repeat me and try to be hero. I got to love the video gates. All in the interest of truth and justice, this is. He claims that he has four badges. A man that claims that he's Marius Chardé. Well, don't feel that bad, dude. I feel bad telling you that, but a couple of video gates under this, when you hear why, you'll have to say, I apologize, Richie. Matter of fact, when these get loaded up, I'm going to link the gate in this, uh, in this description there later on, and uh, you could thank me again. He's got those chinky eyes. He's got gray skin. He's got diluted pupils from taking all the drugs that he consumes. And he's a fucking pig a pig me. He's a fucking midget. He's got his arms are long. I think he tried to say the word pygmy. You know, junkies really have no education. Animals are special on a diet. And then look at that motherfucker. Big belly like Buddha. He calls furniture those buckets. Those, you know, when you buy a, a plaster, ready-made plaster? That's what he calls furniture. He gets three or four of those cans and he invites people over and says, oh, he puts plastic over it, thinks it's a, a comforter or something like that. Listen to what I just said. It makes no sense what he said. 
All right, listen to the video gauge 48 hours before the Barclay video, and you hear him swearing today, definitely today, I'm coming to tap you on the shoulder. And pay attention to any video gauge I posted before that first Barclay thing in the next day. <laughs> Now, if I was a chicken, right, would I invite someone to meet face to face? Right, right, right. You, you, you're inviting me to meet you now for me to come finish the fight that you started. After two and a half years of telling them you wore Kevlar gloves to beat me up, you're coming to you, they're going to tap me on the shoulder. You know, it's all good. I mean, I, I don't want to ruin the new plan or your new show or your new strategy. But, hey, it's all in the interest of truth and justice, right? See, that's, see, that's what Richie wants. He wants... There'd be in a situation where there's cops nearby and he can run to them. Hey, dog, he attacked me. Not for nothing. There's more cops and cop cars to Barkley Center than anything else, so pay attention. Richie, because there's cameras everywhere. This way, when you... Oh, the Barkley Center blocks got more cameras than we could dream about. Pay attention. Or that I attacked you or I initiated the, uh, the aggressiveness or whatever you want to make that claim because it's not going to be that way, Richard. You're right, it's not going to be that way at all. All you got to do is show up on my Brooklyn sidewalk, walk up to me and tell me you're Enforcer 250. You won't have to worry about any aggressiveness. <laughs> Ever again. No posse, just me and myself, Richie. You could have showed up with five people if you wanted. All right, anytime you're ready, Utica and Clarkson, make sure you walk up to me and tell you you're 25 blow. I know you guys want to date with me, and I clearly, you know, told you the first time you expressed that interest where I am. That's not my problem. He's a tooth chicken to come and make you move. Because there was no 800-pound niggas there. <laughs> for the entrance, wasn't he looking for the nearest security guard? Wasn't he looking to see if there was cops outside so he could run to and grab onto their leg? Oh, you mean there was no cop stand? He didn't grab onto no legs? My God, truth and justice. Gotta love the video gates. I don't think he knows 225 was in the drive-thru and our encounter actually happened to him pulling out of the sidewalk. You know, I, re I remember this clearly because I said, I can't believe that little Jeremy Rusky gave me an apple pie. Oh, uh, but I know 225 is going to correct him. Oh, don't hold your breath. Really? Did I agree to meet the man there, or did he say to everybody, I don't, if you don't show up, don't ever key up again? <laughs> we know fear and common sense got the best. I tell you what, when you listen to his first Barclay video and his second, you let me know if it sounds like he knew I was going to be there, if it sounds like I agreed to meet the scared junkie. Take that. Pow, pow. Take that. 
I just like to set the record straight when I can about you guys repeating yourselves day in and day out. But, you know, when you're always telling a different story or different details, kind of makes the public wonder how much is made up lies. All of it. Three video gates of me and CK talking, and you not talking, and you waited until everybody came out, you had an audience to start singing again. But I'm on my way out the door, guys, man, you know. I only got to go out and pick up some smoke, smoke, and food, so I won't be gone that long. Maybe an hour, tops, hour and a half, you know. I'm going to leave the video gate rolling, though. Nobody's asking where Richie is, but every time they turn their radio on, they really hear what it's like to be on one man's Bozak. Ain't that right, bad girl? The only way Pedro can hear Richie of any of us, he's got to be right in his backyard, right over there, Metropolitan. Yeah, yeah, that's the only time. And even that, let me tell you something. You were sure, well, you thought you made the video game. You fucking was smashing that nigga. That nigga wasn't getting between us or nothing. And he was in metropolitan. So, uh, a couple of days ago, I think it was... You heard Mr. 250 say nobody can bust up you guys at LES. You're just too close. What is it, 8 to 20 air blocks away for all of you? Hey, <laughs> more power to you. One of his locals was running about... But when Richie was on the hill, you know what Richie did to your little fucking pack? Pride years apart like nothing. Bring the iron game down. If you don't fucking bring the iron game down, he's stupid. He's like, we don't know all the tricks, bro. He fucks with the radio side. Or, or he makes it look like the iron. That's how Bad Girl gets a four pound carrier while the rest of the five boroughs got me plus 30. It's five foot, dude. Get your facts straight. You've been bragging about my fire stick base antenna for years, man. I bought it on Utica Avenue. It's a five footer with radials with a ground plane kit. Sits flat on the top of the roof. On the two pill. He don't got no fucking. But I modified it. That's why it works a lot better. How I modified it was I put better cable on it and soldered every junction or connection point. He could come in my red I said, nigga, there's no way, bro. You could have the fucking best shit. I'm facing away. My antenna is facing southwest, bro. All right? I'm good. Well, someday he'll run a video gate to prove all this. Prove all this. <laughs> I doubt it. Don't ever hold your breath waiting for that cat. When he tells these, he makes up these lies that we're ten, we're 10 blocks away from each other. I mean, he doesn't have a clue the buildings that are in between us. We're not talking about how many buildings are in 10 or 20 blocks, dude. We're talking about the airspace. You know what I mean? What we're doing, what we're going to do. We're not paying each other. We're not doing 
30s or 40s to each other. That's how we tell them. Well, actually, according to Google, the foundation of my house is about three feet below sea level. I'm sure my antenna is two stories above it, but since I left Utica Avenue, yeah, I ain't got no height. Slipped a couple of notches. <laughs> the antenna slipped three feet. Then he claims when he's at 194 Utica that a, a military sniper shot his antenna down. I mean, what else is he going to claim? The church, every Sunday, go look at my videos, every Sunday's videos, uh, Soulsville Sundays, I call it, but I have the church, two stories right below me downstairs, two stories down on my sidewalk, with nine amplifiers and like 30 speakers holding their Sunday church, listen to it in the background, listen to me keying down, do I sound like I was giving any RFI to anybody in my building? <laughs> He sounds like it, don't he? I sit and eat and talk at the same time, and I'm trying to stuff my face before I get out of here. That, that too puts out 800 watts. I want to see someone show me a website where iMac 3-500Z puts out 800 watts. It's a 500 watt tube. It's, it says it right in the specifications. According to Cracky, he dead keys 800 watts with that Ameritron with a new tube. And swings, uh, whatever, 1500. This is his claims. Yeah, maybe with that a static uh, uh, bullshit meter that he uses. Imagine that 800 watt dead key swinging to 15. Yeah, maybe if you had some steel tubes or, or real iMac tubes, but not one 3 500 Z, which I hate to say, you're delusional and you're all fucked up in the head. And you need real test gear. If you need a, a, a bird meat, I'll give you one, Richie. I'll give you one brand new. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I'll put 10 slugs, a thousand dollars worth of slugs. You know what slugs are? Those are. Up. I can't believe his conversation of convincing bad boy is now talking to Richie. Amazing junkies are, huh? Pay attention. Plus a 350 watt meter. But you'll never come for that. You know why, Richard? Fear and common sense will prevent that from happening. Come on, he never came to get the thousand dollars in the radio. <laughs> Guess, guess he ain't that crackhead of that junkie you say he is hurting for quick money. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. If I say I got you, it's guaranteed. Unless God strikes me down, I got you. I told Richie, you come clean, I'll give you whatever you want. A meter, radio, amplifier, but you got to do the right thing. You got to stop your bullshit, and you got to do the right thing. Right? He doesn't want to. He wants to try to make a name for himself by lying and by consuming drugs. I was like, that's not going to help you, man. You're not going to get any respect out here. How are you going to be the king of New York and you're making up all these lies? People are laughing at you, Richard. Not only that, man, you know what's happening to poor little Richard? He knows. Deep down, he knows what he is. He knows what he is. 
but he gets on the radio to play the pretend game, because Richie wants to be a drug dealer, he wants to be a cop, he wants to be the president, he, <laughs> he wants to be married to Sade, he's the great <laughs> I told him, bring your two pill to my table and camera, like I told everybody for a year straight on Utica. This is where he got the idea from. He, he listened to those video games from back then. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I have you must want. You're trying to convince the whole public that I'm your right-hand man and drug-smoking, hardcore, and buddy, but... Ah, lo and behold, Richie's the king, and you can't change that. All right. Then that's it, because I can I could prove what my amp is doing, the two-pill. You know, I, I have the instruments to, you know, put it right on the dummy load, right there, boom. Put it either on the bird meter or on my uh, LP-100, eh? And right there, it's all said and done. I don't have to make up claims. See, Richie can never make, you know, he can never do something and prove that he has the ability or the capability of a piece of gear that he's claiming. So, you know, I, I, I just laughed when he made that claim again. He made it today. That is uh, two pill, can I do any two pill made out there? So, you know, like I said, it's just another lie that he made up, another fabrication. And that's the two pill that he's using, by the way. I just point out the SWR that my meat is reflected in my unit. Did I not? Peter's difference between your jumpers, between the coax, the time it gets to your antenna. See, he doesn't realize, he doesn't understand that, he doesn't comprehend. So when he uses the SWR capability of the M, whether it has it or not, it's inaccurate. Or not totally accurate, I should say. So, you know, Richard, I hope you're listening and recording, and I know you're listening, I know you're making a recording, and I hope you're learning something, because there's a lot of valuable information to learn. All I'm learning and all we're hearing in this recording is you trying to sound like me and my Donnie Brasco and Richie radio channels when I'm explaining technical things. Pay attention, New York. Take a few minute break myself. 
You mean you're, it only took two hours to get tired of sucking Richie's cock? Man, you were some marathon cocksuckers. Breaking up Echo guys now in their hood. Okay, the King of New York, we're gonna get out of here now. <laughs> you ran him off the band wave, dude. You started keying over that recording and they ran.